Alright, hey Swissy Sam, welcome to another video of the crew. And today we're gonna be building the McLaren F1. So yes, as you know I bought the season pass and I'm just gonna go ahead and build the, some cars that I really like uh, from this pass uh, until we get the crew wild run. But yes, so let's start here. Um, we're gonna buy the level 40 kit because I cannot be bothered to upgrade this thing. If it's not really good, then I might do it later, but for now, we're gonna do this. Alright, so we have it. Look at that, it has a bit of a body kit on it. Alright, so, visuals. We already start with the front bumper. Uh, okay, what do we have? Huh, looks pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm, yes. Okay, mm hmm, yeah. Alright, so I think I like... This one, that, that one looks nice. All right, let's buy that. Now let's go on to rear bumper. So what do we have? Okay, we have those lip things at the bottom. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That looks in Zeno. So, um, I guess, okay, those lights are bigger. Bigger means better, okay. Uh, fenders, of course, nothing. Okay, there we go, wow. Uh, no, we, we want that. That looks has the vent. That looks nice. Okay, so let's go to the side mirrors. What kind of side mirrors are that? Look at that. Um, well, I'm, I'm buying those, so they look a lot better. Okay, rear wing. What do we have? Okay, we have... Pretty much removes it. Ooh, is that one... Uh, yeah, I like that one better. Okay, so hood. Oh, wow, that's a small hood. Uh, I think I like the stock one the best. So now let's choose the rims. So this one does not seem to have any uh, stock ones for a manufacturer. Okay, I think those rims work really well with this car. So let's buy those. And now we need to buy a color. So what color do we want? This It doesn't have any... Uh, manufacturer ones, so we're just gonna have to choose something nice. You know what? I think this uh, ye yellow looks really cool. When the interior, uh, okay, we can change the interior. Uh, we can change the color. So let's make it match with yellow. That looks really cool. And I don't know if I'm gonna have a sticker, but I'm gonna look through them. You know what? Why not have that sticker? That looks pretty cool. Let's put that on. It fits well. All right, so let's try it. All right, let's so let's, let's try. <laughs> okay. So let's listen to the sound first. Sounds sick. This one has a really unique sound. Let's listen to it in the interior. Oh, those dials look really cool. So let's go. A hundred, hundred and fifty, and two hundred. Yeah, really good acceleration. Now, I'll just take corners and stuff. Let's see here. Ah, uh, jump. Wow, okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Oh, it grips pretty well, I guess. Let's see here. It doesn't feel that flimsy. It's like grips pretty well. Oh, it can drift a little bit. It slides. Oh, yeah, look at that. And something I really like to try with these cars like, how do they handle when they oversteer? Because uh, if you watched my latest, uh, my fair lady video, uh, you can see that that one really un oversteers very easily. Like, you're gonna spin it if you try to oversteer it. So, but this one, uh, it works really well. Like, look at this. We can do some different. Let's try it in the cockpit view. Okay. I mean, you can uh, slide it like without uh, spinning it out. So, I mean. That, I mean, that means that it has pretty good handling. 
it, it would probably be a good car to uh, do races in and be con competitive. I mean, in, especially in cockpit view, like when you're all the center. And if you thought that, well, you can't have any passengers to look at what you're doing. Well, you're wrong because this car doesn't ha only have two seats, but it has three seats. Look at that. It has one seat on each side, which is very cool. Um, yeah, and we scrape it. Like, how many cars has a seat in the middle and two seats on the sides? Not, not many supercars will have that. In fact, I, I don't know of any other car that has that. Yeah, you see there, we can kind of slide it. Let's see here. Oh, yes. Look at that. We're sliding it. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see if we can do it in cockpit view. It's always a little bit uh, more difficult, but let's see if we can do it. Oh, we kind of ca oh, we ca could. Oh, that's so nice. I cannot wait for drift spec. Alright, so it's a good car. Why not just put it in a race? Alright, here we go. Should we... Should we put it in the cockpit view all this time? I think we should. Alright, we're just... Alright, I'm just going away from those. I am... I, I am in about the same level as all the other ones. Uh, so... Wow, I'm going away. Let's see here, how do we do in the corner? Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, grips well here. Okay. Yeah. Nos. This has got to be the best cockpit view ever. Like, it. You are in the center. You feel like a freaking superhero, and you have this giant window, so you can literally see the whole universe. Oh crap! Oh, we're fine. Yes, this is the McLaren F1. We grip. I might actually consider uh, like fully upgrading this. I have all the uh, parts to max it, max it out, so I might do that. Ah, uh, yes. Taking that corner really nicely, except for the end there. But that was just kind of my fault. See, we can do a little bit of sliding there. See, this thing just grips through the entire corner. That is really, really impressive. But yeah, I am really impressed with this car. Oh, that was a cool slide. Alright, so let's do a 360 at the end. There we go. Yeah, there we go. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I sure did. <laughs> um, like this car, it's... It's really good. I didn't know it was so good. Uh, I really, I really like it. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then you can leave a like to show that you liked it, and you can subscribe to see more of my videos. And yes, also if you want to see my previous video on the crew, then you can click the link at the end of this video or in the description. But yes, my name is Sam, and I'll see you in the next video.